Pollard Middle School students may believe vaping is popular among their classmates, but only 3% of them have used a vaping product recently. This is just one of the facts students advocating life without substance abuse shared with middle school students to discourage unhealthy behavior. Maxim Grin, who is a salsa leader, received the Ray of Hope Award for his efforts in leading younger students to join him in living a substance-free lifestyle. The Ray of Hope is an award that Youth and Family Services started a while ago to really recognize a young person who is engaged in giving back to the Needham community. So is really engaged in volunteer projects, has a high moral value, is a role model for others, and just really recognizing the good. Salsa advisor Karen Mullen nominated Maxim for the Ray of Hope Award because Maxim and the salsa team he leads is truly making a difference in the Needham community. They are correcting misperceptions about youth substance use, acting as role models, and suggesting to youth positive, healthy alternatives. The advocacy work Maxim does for prevention in Needham will have lasting effects in the community. We are grateful for his efforts and advocacy. The whole objective of our Pollard program is to first debunk myths of the high school and just help enforce the students' understanding of why it's unhealthy to misuse. It's also like helping them find a way to connect with high school students. So not only is it also sort of like a club that stands out first to the students because we really directly connect to them by going into their classes, but um, we create those connections with the students through hobbies, through activities, even pets, um, just those simple things that make that make that transition a little smoother. Maxim became a salsa leader in 10th grade and has worked to expand salsa's advocating efforts. He believes substance use prevention education needs to start even earlier than 8th grade because research shows the brain is still developing during adolescence and is vulnerable to the acute effects of drugs and increases the risk of developing a substance use disorder. Maxim rallied his middle school wellness team to get permission from administrators to create an age-appropriate presentation on healthy decision-making for 6th grade students. Really just making sure that we get the word out as early as possible so that middle schoolers know why it's unhealthy to misuse substances. And we've been even trying to reach earlier than 8th grade, we've been trying to reach into 6th grade. And uh, basically the entirety of last year was doing that. And we've been getting much closer to our goal. Maxim is a great choice. I'm so happy that Maxim won the award this year. He is somebody that has been dedicating his life to not only volunteering in various school systems and school projects, but he is dedicating his life to live a life without substances. And so he is part of the salsa group. He is trying to help with this mission with younger students. He is volunteering in the middle school. He is doing a ton of projects. And so I think it's not only the work that he's doing, but just the moral value that he has and his dedication to also making just need him a better community um, in everything that he does. So we think he's just such an excellent choice for this award. As of Maxim's nomination, he had completed over 223 hours of community service with Salsa. During his upcoming senior year, he will also be the leader of the Substance Prevention Alliance of Needham's Youth Action Team. Maxim chooses to live a substance-free life not only for his own benefit, but for those around him as well. I have a younger brother. I want to make sure that he's healthy later down the line as well. And also all my friends, my peers, everyone. So this is really the main reason why I've worked so hard with middle school is to enforce those sort of healthy habits and try to give as healthy of a future to everyone as I can. Youth and Family Services is really, really proud of Maxim and so happy that we can be part of recognizing him for this award and hope that he continues to do the amazing work he is doing. And thank you, Maxim, for everything that you do.